Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sumit and I'm here with my new video in Salesforce Einstein bot. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you about the dialogues in Einstein bot. We'll talk about dialogues, what's the use of dialogues in Einstein bots, how do we set up dialogues and what's the purpose of using dialogues in bots. So we'll be going to discuss about this thing. I'll show you a practical implementation of dialogues in Einstein bots. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do that. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get the update on latest videos in my YouTube channel. So here, uh, here I'm now my new videos, and in today, like today, I'm going to take uh, tell you about the dialogues in Einstein bot. So first of all, let's try to understand what exactly Einstein bot is and what's the use of bots, the dialogues in Einstein bots. So basically, when we talk about dialogue in Einstein bot, a dialogue is a structured component of a chat bot conversation close that helps automate interaction between the bots and user. So basically, it helps to establish a communication between the bot and the user when a user interacts with the chat bot. So there are some dialogue boxes, uh, dialogue boxes present in front of the users. User can interact with them. Now the dialogue boxes can be used to show the messages, to show any, uh, to show any information to the user, or to to gather some information from the user, to collect some information from the user. So in it defines how the bot communicates with user to accomplish a specific task or answer queries. The dialogues, basically the dialogues uh, are conversation snippets that control what a bot can do. What a bot can do. And during a conversation with a customer, our bot moves between several different dialogues. Each dialogue is going to handle a portion of the conversation, for example, we used to have a welcome dialogue. There's a main menu dialogue. We have order status dialogue. We can have location and hours dialogue, or we can have a transfer or transfer to the agent. So transfer or to the agent actions will be there. So these are the individual dialogues that a customer might experience as a part of a single conversation with the bots. So my, you might have experienced by yourself whenever we con whenever we open any dialogue, whenever we open any chat bot or interact with the chat. So there are some dialogue box come in appears in front of us and based on our input, based on our interaction, the flow happens. So same thing we are trying to implement in our application. So if you have gone through my previous video, in my previous video, I demonstrated about Einstein bot, what Einstein bot is, how do we configure Einstein bot. So today we'll be going to see dialogue. How do we set up dialogues? So as you can see, I'm already into my Salesforce Einstein instance. And uh, this is a bot. This is the Einstein bot we configured in the last session in the previous video. That is called Einstein, uh, AI Tech One bot. So uh, let me open this AI Tech One bot. Right now, this bot gets simple. Uh, there's a welcome uh, welcome, welcome dialog box is there. And we have a menu one, main menu. So in main menu, we have three menus. Uh, if you see the main menu here, we used to have the three menu here, register an account, check account details, and register new opportunity. These are the three main menus. And this is my welcome dialog. So right now, if I activate this, and if I preview this text preview, and when I type hello, and as you can see, I am getting a, I'm getting a menu here. It says, hi, AI Tech Fund bought a digital assistant. This is a welcome message. And at the same time, it will display uh, it will display the menu to the user. So we have we got three menus. Of three options will be there in the menu: register an account, check account details, and register new opportunity. So now I want to take it to the next step from here onwards. Let's suppose if a user entered one. So right now it's waiting for the input from the user. So now we'll be going to see based on the user input if user enter number one, number two, number three. How are we going to redirect? Two different dialogues, or where if user enter number one, so how do we redirect to dialogue? How do we create a dialogue? How do we move from one dialogue to another? So that we are that we are going to discuss in today's video. So first of all, let me close this preview option, and as you can see, this is my welcome dialog box, and uh, as you can see, the next step is start another dialog main menu, and from the main menu, when user click on register an account. When user click on the account, it's wait for the customer input. So from here, 
I just wanted to when user enter register an account uh, when user when user enter number one. So what I want to do, I want to open a dialogue. So how are we going to create a dialogue here? Let's see. So in order see either all either when user click on register when user open register an account, we have an options here. Uh, like we have an option either we can get, display a message or a static message or dynamic message. But right now I just wanted to create a dialogue. So when I click next step on right side, we can see certain options say select next step. And here we have an option wait for customer input. So right now this is the default setting which is waiting for the customer input. So right now we are waiting for the customer input or we can show a menu or we can start another dialogue or transfer to an agent. So I'm going to start another dialogue. So I click on I choose start another dialogue, but which dialogue? So there are some pre configured dialogue, pre defined dialogue like welcome dialogue. If you want to redirect back to the welcome dialogue or if you want to show the main menu dialogue or transfer to an agent or and the chat or no agent is available right now or any error handling or if you want to create a new dialogue, we can do it right now. And as soon as we create a new dialogue, it is going to display the dialogue somewhere here. It is going to list out the dialogue somewhere here. So let's do how do we do this? I'm, I'm going to create a new dialogue here. So when I click on create a new dialogue, so I give a name here. Let's say uh, let's say account input dialogue. I give the name as account input dialogue. And uh, description, we can add a description assigned to dialog group or show in the bot option menu. No, I don't want to show it in the bot option menu. I simply click on save. When I click on save, a dialog is created. You can see account input dialog. Let me edit this account input dialog. Or uh, because, yeah, the name is, anyway, it's a misspell. That's, that's perfectly fine. That's not an issue. So I just say account input dialog. Now, in this dialogue, what do we want to do? So first of all, we have already saved this. And now in order to redirect to the next dialogue or if you want to take further action, so we can check here. For example, I click on account input dialogue. This redirects me to the account dialogue right now. And here I can perform certain actions. If I want, I can simply display a message. Let's suppose I want to display a message here. I, I just simply click on message and I want to display a message here. Welcome to new account input dialogue. Let's test it. And uh, again, the next step is we are waiting for the customer input. So I click on save. So let's test this dialogue right now. So I click on activate. And when we click on preview, I just type in hello. And I got a message here that these are that's a menu. So I, I just enter register new account and hit enter. And you can see it's not showing anything. Let me try again. And when I enter again, it's a message. Sorry, I didn't understand. Let me try one more time. So it's not working. What could be the reason? Let's try to figure it out. What could be the reason? So first of all, I deactivate it. And let's start this from the beginning. Uh, I'll just switch to welcome screen. And when welcome screen, it is going to start launch the main main menu. In main menu, we get input from the user, and then when user select register an account, from here it says wait for customer input. This is where this is where we are lagging. What do I need to do here? As soon as the user enter or as soon as the user uh, select the first option register a new account, it should display our account input dialog. How do we do this now? So I select this next step and say start another dialog and which dialog account input dialog let's save it and test it test it again activate text preview hello enter option number one and you can see we are getting the uh, uh, welcome message from the dialog welcome to a new account input dialog now on new account input dialog, I just want to get some input from user. And right now, I don't want to store those values into any of the objects. I just wanted to store the values on Salesforce itself, or sorry, on um, Einstein bot itself. So let me deactivate it. And I simply switch to new account input dialog. So when uh, now in this account input dialog, I would like to get input from user. So how do we do that? How do we get input from user? Now in this, uh, either we can wait for customer input or I just wanted to show a message. So this is welcome to new account input. 
here. When I click on this one, I'm getting a plus option. See this, and here we can. This uh, so basically what we are trying to do. We'll uh, display a message welcome to the input dialog, and we want to get an input from user. So we have we want to add a step to your dialog. So I click plus, and we want to get a message. So I just want to raise a question to the user. Uh, we could have a dynamic and a static question, but right now I'm going to the static one. So I click on static. I just put my question here. Enter account name. Static choice will the remain same. And entity name, what kind of question it is, what type of value this is. So the expected response format. So whenever the user responds, so what type of response we are, it is going to store. So this will be a system text. And we want to store this in a variable. So we can create a new variable here. So we can click on new text variable and specify the name of the variable. Now, in my case, I've already created a variable name as account name text. So I select this form. But if you want to create a new text variable, click on new text variable and fill up the information and your, your variable gets created. So I select account name. Now these variables will be very useful when we want to pass the message from this bot to the flow or to store that in order to store the data, these variables will be helpful. But right now we are not doing that. I just wanted to store the information here only. I select, in, I just added into account name. Save this. I just want to raise one more question. Click and uh, plus and say static account name. Oh. Enter account phone. And this one phone number text and the variable account phone text. So again, the way I created a new variable for account name in the same manner, I have already created a variable for account phone. So I select this, save this. Now the next is, once we get an input from user, I want to, on the next dialog, I just want to show the input enter, the values entered by the user. So how do I do that? I click on wait for customer input and I want to start a new dialog. So I just create a new dialog here and label this as account, let's say, user input, user input dialog. Save this, save this, and on user input dialog, I want to display the message. So I just want to display a message, and I just write here, hello. Now I want to show the name, uh, hello, or I'll just write detail, account details, account details entered. account name now in order to show in order to show the value from a variable we have to use curly bracket exclamation sign and the variable name account name account phone exclamation sign account phone so that's the variable name we have declared in the previous step account name and account phone and here on uh, next step, once user entered, I want to start another dialogue. And which one? I want to get back to the, uh, I just want to redirect to the welcome message. Or let's suppose I want to redirect to the main menu. Save this. So that's the way we created two custom dialogues, account input dialogue and the user input dialogue. In account input dialogue, we get input from user. And on user input dialogue, we have displayed the message to the user. So let's activate it and preview this. So when we click on preview, let's start. I just entered hello. Register new account. I entered one. Enter. Enter account name. Let's say Sumit account. Enter account phone. Enter. And you can see it redirects to the next dialog. It will show account details entered, account name, so with account and account phone is this, and it redirects to the welcome one. Either we can wait for the user input or we can transfer it to the agent or we can perform a certain action. So right now I'm not adding this data into an object. I simply uh, display the message, display the, uh, the details entered by the user. In next video, we will be going to learn how do we update the data? How do we add a new record into an account object based on the user input in Einstein bot? So that's all in this video. 
if you like this video press the like button you can post your comment in comment box you can reach out to us on the customized training on salesforce admin development Einstein analytics and different modules keep watching have a nice day goodbye